Hi there, my creative friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Letitia Finder. And today you're going to be watching me paint in my sketchbook with some watercolor. And I'm just painting a dwarf chin cactus in case you wanted to know what it was exactly. And uh, yeah, cactus and succulents have been a new little, I don't know, fascination of mine. <laughs> I took a course on Skillshare uh, where they used cactus and succulents just as practice and uh, I kind of fell in love and I, I'll link the link for that particular course down below in case you guys are interested um, it will be an affiliate link I'm not sponsored by them or anything but I I can get free months if you guys sign up using my link so just disclosure there <laughs> anyways today we're gonna be talking about seven ways to take your art to the next level right now and this is actually a blog post I did a couple weeks ago. I also link that down below so that you guys can go and, and read the full blog post and get all of the details because there's too much information for me to get into this one video. But I'm gonna break it down for you guys. So number one is learn a new technique. This can be as simple or complicated as you want. This is a great way to practice your skills, bring in more creativity, and allow your skill set to grow. Number two. Draw from life. Drawing from life allows you to truly see what's happening with a figure or object. The difference between drawing from your imagination and drawing from something sitting right in front of you can be astounding. Your brain just doesn't retain all the fine details or proportions and you can be missing whole pieces when you are drawing from memory rather than drawing from something that's right in front of you. Number three. Make time. Even if you only take five minutes out of your day, a quick doodle or a couple gesture drawings, the key here is to do. It doesn't have to be perfect or pretty. Just do it. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard the saying, if you don't use it, you lose it? It applies here. Number four, critique your most recent work. Take a couple of minutes to look at something you've recently created. This can be a drawing, a painting, sculpture, whatever it is that you do. What do you like about it? What do you not? Does it work as a piece as a whole or in general? What is working? What could be done better? What elements and principles of design are being used and are they effectively done? These are some things you can ask about the piece that you're looking at you don't have to take forever to do something like this just you know take a few minutes and, and go over it but be honest about it number five the draw it again challenge this is actually going to be my video coming up next week so make sure you check back for that um, but find something you've created at least a year ago it could be longer and redo it and you'll see how far you've come what you still need to work on and how your style has progressed. It's also a ton of fun. Number six, prompt challenge. Now, if you know me, you know I love to recommend this for everything. This is a great tool. But pick a prompt and draw. This can be a word, lyrics, poem, sentence, whatever you want. You'll flex your creative muscles and improve those illustration skills. Number seven, brush up on basic design practices. Elements and principles of design are a good example of something to brush up on. Go back to the basics. A strong understanding of the fundamentals will benefit you and your work. And that's it. Those are my seven tips to help you improve your art right now. If you like what I'm talking about and you want to know more, I do post blog posts every Wednesday at 10 a.m. EST. And a YouTube video goes up every Friday at 6 p.m. EST. I also have a mailing list, and if you join that mailing list, you will be given in exclusive tips and tricks, and you'll be the first to know when things are coming out. You'll never miss a blog post or a YouTube video, and you can sign up by going to www.letitiafinder.com, and I will link that down below for you. If you sign up now, you do get a free sketchbook guide, how to use your sketchbook effectively, and that will be delivered right to your inbox when you sign up. So again, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time, my creative friends.